Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood! We've just reached Ralga's Reach, but before we make formal introductions, we're gonna sit here and talk to everybody as usual as dawn breaks through. No, I wanna talk to your brother first. Okay. Very funny crowd. Yeah, too bad they can't do that with like everything else. Well, she didn't even say bye to you. Wow. Wow, Monago, like for real, man. Girl. Good, so you know my name. We might have a new dialogue. Just making sure there's a lot of nice bits of dialogue you can always miss. Before we do any of that, we need to take a quick pit stop to the Aetherite over here. Alrighty, so now we can continue on. This place has actually kept up pretty well. Oh, it feels weird with, uh... A bunch of NPCs missing. The joys of alternate characters, guys. Oh, being entertained? Wow. What a welcome. Yeah, I'm standing on your side of the table. Sorry for any disrespect. I am the warrior of light. Hey, don't kick me out of this side of the table. That was mean. Allow me to welcome you once more to Raga's Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp. And I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Wow. You might want to, like, name off the rest of us, too? Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. No, no, there's no need for that. They risked their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I I wanted to, um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, child. Papalimo laid down his life to save us. To give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual. By Rolger, it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done, is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir. To see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Eorzean Alliance, 
we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. No, we hate the Empire too. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Do, do you want our help of or course, not? Of course, Camp. Take all the time you require. Like, I know the Alliance is kind of being chicken about this whole thing, but do you want our help or not? Like, opportunities banging on your door. Like, take the deal. You don't need to be happy about it, but take the deal. You know, people got taken in by Elbert because he had a point, yeah. Everyone hates the Empire, but nobody's actually willing to actually make the sacrifices to make it, you know, make them go away. You're getting some help now. Like, I know it's not gonna be that much, but... Yeah, you ain't gonna get a better deal than this. Do you want to do this on your own, or do you want at least some help, okay? Yeah, pretty much. But it's alright, though. Ha! 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 Very funny. Um, so another thing to notice about that cutscene, which is one thing that kind of bothered me. I understand why, but it did kind of bother me for a little. I believe that is the only time that Lisa's ever mistakenly called Ida ever again. I know it is a good thing to be respectful of people who, you know, just, you know, for whatever reason, they're going by a different name now, and you want to respect that by conferring to them as their current name and not dead naming them, regardless of why it's quote unquote dead naming. And, but the thing is, it does take a bit of time to get used to that. Even like Lise herself, she's been going by the name Ida for six years. I think it would have been better if we had a moment here or there where someone calls her, you know, someone calls her at least to try to get her attention and it takes her a second to realize, oh, yeah, right, that's me. You know, like, I wanted just a little bit more of that. Like, it didn't have to continue through, like, all of 4.0 or anything like that. But just a moment, just, just here or there, at least more than once of somebody accidentally calling her by their real name and having to you know, quick change it out at the last second as an oops. Because that, that's a lot of muscle memory. Of, of You get used to calling somebody one name, and then all of a sudden, oh, okay, I go by a different name now. That takes a little time to, to adjust to. And sometimes, even if you don't necessarily slip up, you may have to, like, mentally stop yourself and, you know, before actually saying it out loud. And you don't kind of get those awkward pauses. And, again, I, I understand why they had to do that, but... Um, okay. We're gonna do some buddy bonding. I love how Alize's like, oh, we could totally go harass people, and I can just imagine like her like just just walking up behind people and being like, What you doing? Um I don't know where they all are though, so I'm gonna take a minute to 
before I talk to Lise to kind of go around and see if I can find them. I don't remember if they're actually hanging around or if they're just not loaded on the map at this time, but we're going to go check that out anyway. Okay, well, apparently they are loaded on the map at this time. Which is good. Well, gee, Yishola, it's almost like they're at war or something, and yeah, these kinds of things are prone to be in short supply. Okay, well, unfortunately, I can't find the other two, so I don't think they're on the ma loaded on the map at this time, but that's okay. Now, I kind of wish the camera actually panned to who she was talking about, but this lady over here! This next lady over here is an Ananta, and yeah, she's uh, pretty darn tall. There's actually more of them hanging out in the reach, but none of them are of any extreme importance at this time, so we're not gonna go across the map and point out the mall or anything like that. Not sure why you want to look at the statue from the base of it. It's kind of hard to see the whole thing from up this close. But I suppose this little makeshift shrine at the front of it is a good enough meeting place. So we'll give you that at least. Yeah, it's not nice to see you melodramatic and all that stuff. You're supposed to be the perky, friendly one. I don't like seeing you like this. I, I, know, I know Papa Lima Sacrifice did a number on you and all that, but... See more snack ladies over here! I just love how that guy is named Devin and Glare. seen the Aetherite Plaza, but I suppose if you're just walking in a straight line, um, it's an easy thing to miss if you don't actually open the map right away. Because it is kind of tucked away in the corner based on where you enter, so good on the devs for actually pointing this out to players so they know absolute certain that it's here. Way ahead of you on that girl. Oh, here you two are. At 
least they're literally right here. Holy crap. Well, I do think it's a nice touch that there's a gobby here. Because gobbies are actually a bit nomadic. So it's kind of nice we, we actually see some uh, out here all the way in Girabanya. Not need to buy anything, and I made sure I was all repaired and stuff. I still think we need some kind of cowbell summoning service. Well, where'd all the rest of you all go? You were literally right behind me. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you all? Thank you all for waiting. We have reached a consensus. I, Conrad Kemp, do hereby accept the Aeorsian Alliance's proposal. You must understand, however, that our cooperation comes with certain caveats. Those caveats being... I take no joy in this, just so you know. Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance. But the resistance, but the resistance is far more is fragmented, than, fragmented you than you realize. The men and women, the men in, and my women in my care belong, belong to but one factions. of many factions. Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rolga's Reach. Now, I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree. But it will take time, and I cannot guarantee universal support. Understood. I shall see that the Alliance is under no misapprehensions as to your position. Much obliged. But that's not the whole of it. As you can imagine, the loss of those who cast their lot with the Griffin left us short on numbers. Some of our most trusted veterans died at the Wall. And we've had to fill their posts with the young and inexperienced. Frankly, everything's in a right bloody mess. Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you get back on your feet. If we're going to work together, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Well, there's no shortage of work to be done, that's for sure. We're in dire need of new blood, too. Ishtola and I could lend a hand in the infirmary. From what I saw, they could do with a few more healers. Very well. I, for my part, shall return to the Rising Stones. I am certain there are others among the Scions who would welcome the opportunity to fight for Alamegan liberation. Um, is there anything else we can do to help? I had something else in mind for you, Lot. Monago and Mefred will tell you more. Okay. Understood. We won't let you down. Not sure, and I like these conditions, though. Do you want to help getting the Empire off your soil or not? I 
And yeah, I'm gonna be reminding everybody of that a lot. Like, I know this is not an- it's not an easy thing to accept help, and it's certainly not an easy thing to form an alliance. But we have a common enemy here, and you guys actually were once part of the Oyorzean Alliance. The reason you're not anymore is because of the Empire. Like, this should not be a hard choice to make. It's, it's one thing to reiterate that, hey, you, you're not taking credit for frigging everything, and I don't want you coming here and trying to split Alamigo three, you know, three, four, five, six ways to Sunday as soon as we kick the Empire out of here. It's our nation, we stay independent once we kick the Empire off. Like, I can totally understand making those conditions. That's, that's totally fine and completely reasonable. We just want the Empire off of Aldenard soil! Is this really that complicated? Ugh. It's just so infuriating that, like, for different parts of the better part of two, two huge uh, expansions of the game, we had Alamegans everywhere, like, totally sitting in despair and, like, wondering, like, why nobody is doing anything to help them or whatever. And now we're literally on their doorstep saying, hey, we're gonna help you. And they're all like, mm -hmm, but I gotta think about it. Well, you could have thanked us before you just, you know, scarpled on off the door without even saying goodbye to your friend. Yes. Yes. Very rude, Monago. Very, very rude. You don't need to thank us for a treatment, but you could have said bye before you went back, okay? Maybe giving us a secret password saying, like, hey, if you're ever near Ragus Reach, hint, hint. You know, maybe we could wave a colored flag or say a magic password so our welcoming committee, you know, wouldn't be so intimidating. That might have been a bit useful. So yeah, we're just gonna handle one of these at a time. We're gonna come back and talk to Mefred later. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna deal with Manago first, so we're not we're not utterly divided. One thing at a time here. Okay? Alright. Yeah, I drank my juice box already, but I totally still have that peanut butter sandwich. Oh, it's gonna be so frustrating not being able to fly. Especially since flying speed is faster than terrestrial travel. <laughs> but don't worry, we're, we're gonna cut out a lot of this travel time. Oh god, it's a fork in the road. Oh god, are we, are we gonna have a Knights and Nays puzzle here, Monago? What?
Yeah, I have a question. Do you have a watch? Because I might need one of those. Yeah, of course. And I try to jump to fly off. Yeah, that doesn't work too well. When I can't fly. Oh my god, I'm pulling Agar on everything. Where, where, where's the magic puff of purple smoke? Or is this one of those things I have to walk into the area and not mount? Oh, I see it now. Okay. Yeah, there are some spots and some quests in the game where you need to walk into you need to walk into a danger zone and not like mount onto it because it triggers as soon as you. Oh, come on! Kick you right in the balls. Excuse me, bird. All right, just for that, we're bringing out trusty sidekick, okay? And I need to buy more greens, apparently. Okay, Salted Earth, do you want to go down, please? Thank you. Yeah, that was a hunk of junk machine. You might want to get a refund on that. Okay, that might have been a little longer than five minutes, my friends, but, uh... It's okay. It's done. I'm sorry for my lack of a timepiece. <laughs> she said they scrubs. Let's get the heck out of here before another patrol comes along. Yeah. Across the river with the giant crocodiles. Hello, random fisher. What? More of them? Okay. Alright, good. You had me worried there for a second, girls. Uh, yes, we said this before we left. Why are you in shock about this now? He's totally a friend of ours. Like, if you want a fangirl at him, like, cool, you do you, girl. I'm totally going the wrong way. It's alright. It's alright. I can see the wall. We're almost there. Oh, look, Pippin's here! Pippin, hi! What's going on? Aw, it's alright. Thanks for looking, bro. He doesn't get enough respect. It is good to see you again, my friends. I hope you are here to tell me you have made contact with the Resistance. Yeah, one of them is even right here. We are, General. 
Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. Uh, as you say, General. Wow, way to shut her down. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Though I was not aware you had suffered such losses. How could you not? The place was on fire, and then it got flooded, and Alley, uh, Alligan's super weapon, pew and pew pew lasers, like... Did, did nobody, like, write an account of, of all the massive destruction that happened? Like, of course they would sustain a lot of losses from that. I... Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. Awkward silence. We will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Garleans, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is, when and where do we strike? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, are we just gonna, like, find a small patrol group and then just, like, lob a Molotov cocktail over there and be like, DIE GIRLY AND SCUM! And then when, like, four people die, you know, we spread the word that, OH YEAH, WE'RE SUCH BADASSES! Yeah, I don't, that may not quite work, so... I think they're right here. I think, think we need to, we need to tactically figure this out. I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. Oh! How convenient! Yeah but, yeah, but do we need to make it look like it blew up in an accident so they're like, crap, that thing didn't work right. Back to square one. Like we have ourselves, ourselves a mission. But 
we're gonna have to wait to enact that plan until next time. We've gone a little bit too long here, but at least our escort mission is done, so we're not just sitting ducks in Imperial territory. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I shall see you next time. Trusty sidekick, get off the table, you silly bird.